I got some awesome TCBMs in the mail today, and I'm a little bit congested, so my voice is a little weird sounding, so just bear with me. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and get started. The first one is from Pokemon Oz, and the note says, Hey, Computer 3 and CSU. Thanks heaps for this easy and simple trade. Hope the cards arrive safely to you and that they look epic in your sets. Hope to deal with you again soon. Pokemon Oz, Nicola. And she was pretty cool. She's a Australian trader. And the two cards we traded for, the top loaders are sticking together. That's all right. A Full Art Zekrom and a uh, Typhlosion Prime promo. Really awesome. Next up, we have a trade from Fiery Phoenix 511. And the note says, Dear Peter, thanks for the trade. This is my yeah, this is my first trade. I really like your vids and deck reviews. Keep up the good work. From Fiery Phoenix 511. Uh, and then he has down there at the bottom my YouTube account. And this was another pretty um, nice simple trade for a <clears throat> Slowking Prime and Electrode Prime. And the bottom half of Darkrai Cresselia Legend. Um, the this one I I know I already have two of so this will be up for trade. Um, the Slow King and Electrode I'll be hanging on to just to um, to until I get full play sets of them. So the last trade is the one I'm really excited about because uh, if you notice I've just been trading for a lot of my deck my deck wants recently, and it's been a while since I've been able to trade for anything for my um, on my collection wants list. So this trade from Raylock thirty three. Um, is really awesome. So his note says, Thanks Computer3 and CSU for the trade. I hope you like the extras. So I'm going to go through the extras first. He sent a Reverse Special Dark from Power Keepers, a Reverse Marsh Tom from Supreme Victors, and a Hollow Empoleon from Diamond and Pearl. And then the card that was, was the, uh, the card I traded for is really, really awesome. An E3 Pikachu. This is the Yellow Cheeks Pikachu, so it's the more common of the, the two. There is a Red Cheeks E3 Pikachu, but uh, that one's really expensive. So, um, but yeah, I was pretty excited just to get this one to go into my collection. This is just a card I didn't have yet. And um, for those of you that don't know, there is this is the E3 stamp right there, right where the set symbol would typically be. Um, that makes it just a little bit different. So really cool promo you got by going to E3. And, um, yeah, so really excited to have this in my collection now. So thanks to everyone for the trades, and thanks to everyone else for watching.